our friend Sarah and John an electric guitar. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We love using markers, but you can use whatever you have. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. First, we're going to draw the neck of our guitar, which is the long part. We're going to start here and we're going to draw a short line. We're going to draw it about that short. Yeah, and then we're going to draw two lines down, one on each side. We're going to draw one here, then we're going to draw another one coming down, and we'll stop about that far down. Yeah. And then one on the other side. And then let's connect the bottom. Now, there's all different names for the parts of the guitar, and I don't know all of them, so I'm probably going to get some of them wrong. But I know our art friends know all of the different names. So we're going to try our best. So now we're going to draw this top part up here, which I think might be called the headstock. I'm not positive. <laughs> so let's draw a little diagonal line that comes out here. And we can also draw a curve that comes up higher and then out. And you can also change the design of this shape too. We're going to draw another diagonal line, but we're going to come up like this, kind of close to the top of the paper. And then we're going to curl around, almost looks like an upside down J. Yeah, and then we're going to connect down to this other curve. Now we're going to draw the little pegs that stick out, and I, these are used for tuning. We're going to draw six ovals, if we can get them on there. One, two, three, four, five, and we can barely fit six. <laughs> then we can also draw the little posts next to each one. So we're going to draw six little posts next to each peg. Now it's starting to look like an electric guitar. Yeah. That looks really cool, Austin. Now let's come down here and we'll draw the body. And we could also change the shape of the body if we wanted to. It, electric guitars come in all different shapes and sizes. So first, let's draw a curve. We're going to start here. We'll curve like this and we'll come up. Then we could do the same thing on the right side, but I'm going to draw it a little bit lower. So we're going to curve down and back up. Now this next part is going to be tricky, but a lot of fun. We're going to start here. We're going to draw a little curve at the end. Then we're going to come down like this. We'll come back out around. I'm going to come back in and then connect over here to the other side. That was really tricky. But you're doing it. Keep going. And then come in just a little bit and then back out. <laughs> you did it. That was really tricky, but you got it. Yeah. That looks awesome. Thank good, you. Good job. Okay, now let's add even more designs. Let's draw another one inside that kind of matches. I'm going to start here. We'll come around, but we're going to draw it a little smaller. Oh, before we keep going, let's start down here and let's draw the bridge. We're going to draw a rectangle shape. Yeah, you can stop there and then we have room for the bridge. We're going to draw two lines that line up with the neck. We're going to draw them down here. I'm going to draw it about here. I'm going to come over and then back up. So we got two, kind of a square U shape, and we're turning it into a rectangle shape. And we want this to line up with that neck. Yeah. Good job. And then right here, the little design we're going to connect in. Then we're going to come out the other side. And I'm going to get closer to the shape of the body. And then we'll come in and connect to the neck again. Nice. Now let's draw the strings. And I don't think we're going to be able to fit all six strings because the tip of our marker is a little thick. So I'm going to try, though, to fit as many as we can. I'm going to pull the line straight towards me so that we can, or you could also use a ruler if you want, but I'm going to try to draw a string from each of the posts down to the bridge. We're going to go down the neck and then stop at the bridge. Oh, I might get quite a few of the strings. I think I'm only going to get five, though. There we go. And then another one. 
Oh, love drawing electric guitars. They're so cool. Again, remember, you can change the design. Oh, I'm going to get all six strings. No way. I think I'm going to be able to accidentally fit more. <laughs> Keep going. Did you get all six? Yes. Good job. Now, I also connected these strings up to the posts. If you want to try and extend them up a little higher, that would be cool too. We could also add frets, which are the lines that go this direction on the neck. So I'm not sure how many official frets there are, but I'm just going to add quite a few. <laughs> and I think they, I, they get closer together as they get closer to the body. Okay, let's also add a few more details. There's a little shape right here. Uh, I'm not sure what this is called. Pickup, maybe? And um, we're gonna add another one a little bit lower. And I, I ended up looking up a diagram of all the different names, so, but I could still get them wrong. I think these are called pickups. And then we're gonna draw the arm and we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes like this. And then we could even put like a little handle at the end. I think that you can wiggle this to make the music sound different. And then we can also add volume controls. There are little knobs. We're going to add some volume control and also tone control. And we could also add a little jack, which is the output for the sound. So this goes from a cable to an amplifier or a speaker. Yeah, and then we could also draw, I'm gonna draw another shape inside like that. And then you also have to put a little rectangle here. This is where the strap can connect. So you can walk around and really uh, jam out with your music. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. I think we got all of the details on our electric guitar, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end you could pause the video if you want to use our guitars as inspiration for yours, but you could also color any way you want. You could pick different colors. You could even add more designs. Maybe there's graffiti on it or, oh, fire. Or stickers. Oh yeah, you could draw stickers. That would be cool too. You ready to speed things up? Yeah. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our cool electric guitar. It looks so much better all colored in. Yeah, I especially like it because it's the color red. Oh yeah, just like our table. Yeah. We also added another little detail right there. That's the other side of where you put the strap. And we also used our white colored pencil to add a little highlight to make it shiny. We also added a little gray for the shadow. Oh yeah, that looks really cool too. But you don't have to color it like us. You can color it any way you want. Yeah, you could even color your guitar pink yeah. or purple. But if you do have the same Art for Kids Hub markers that we use and you want to color your drawing the exact same as us, we use 15 red, also 24 orange, and CG1 gray. Yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your electric guitar. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Both of our drawings don't look exactly the same, but they both turned out awesome. The most important thing is... To have fun. Yeah, and to... Practice. Practice. Remember to have fun and practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.